This morning I woke up to the news that billionaire developer and philanthropist Eli Broad, 87, had died. And he'd been ill for quite a while. But from most of the reports that I've seen, um, he was born in the Bronx, New York. But many years ago he fell in love with L.A. You know, and I mean you can't blame him. Because, you know, the Northeast has shitty climate. You know, it's just kind of, you know, it's just whatever. There's a lot of things to do in the East. But, you know, once you get out here, out West, you get hooked for life in most cases. Maybe not the cost of living out here, but you do get hooked to the lifestyle. So I don't blame him for moving to Los Angeles. But he made uh, tons of money in the home building and insurance businesses. And then... Uh, basically, at least in that regard, he seemed to be a good-hearted soul and gave a lot of it away to charity. So they believed he was worth uh, $6.9 billion, his net worth. But uh, he was born in 1933. And then it says here he lavished his fortune on turning L.A. into a cultural hotspot and played a pivotal role in creating the Los Angeles Museum of Contemporary Art, which opened in 1979. So he did a lot of good. So in a way, he was kind of like the West Coast counterpart of David Koch. Um, then that David Koch was known for a lot of philanthropic efforts, and I talked about that in a video from a number of months ago, that he was very prominent in the arts, gave away a lot of money. And that's despite the politics, you know. And and as we know, David Koch was totally, you know, off his rocker politically. And Eli Broad was known as a Democrat. So, you know, you find these billionaires all across the political spectrum. But I want to focus on one thing that they kind of gloss over in these obits. And that is that he was one of these people that was big on charter schools and big on education reform. This is a man that didn't know two shits in, about education. He didn't know his ass from a hole in the ground about public ed. And he thought all these great reforms would improve our failing school system. You know, it was like Bill Gates, and you don't hear too much about Bill Gates and Common Core these days, especially since coronavirus. You don't hear much about that. But when these billionaires thought, got this idea that what schools need is competition from the private sector, you know they didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. And with Broad was, was really a bad egg if you were a teacher, in, in a public school teacher, or you were in, in that uh, field because he tried his goal was to try and run school districts like businesses and how did he do this he came up with some notion called the Broad Superintendents Academy let's see and it's still in existence but you don't hear much about it anymore and there's probably a good reason why you don't hear too much about it anymore it's called the Broad Academy and it talked about um, the Broad Academy. Uh, it's called the Fellowship for, and they've changed it. The Fellowship for Public Education Leadership at the Broad Center at Yale. And this is a bad thing. And it, and it and this sounds hot, haughty or lofty. Bro the Broad Academy is a two-year fellowship for highly motivated, accomplished professionals who are driving excellence and equity to make real lasting impact on students and families. It is a goddamn failure. And it's been documented over and over and over that the, the very premise of this academy is to think is a, is a mistaken belief that you can run schools and school districts like businesses. That what you need are people like MBAs, people that are totally unqualified, for the most part, coming in and trying to run school districts. And, it, and they're not businesses. They're not businesses. 
Schools are not businesses. You can't run them on a business model. And that's basically, it's a privatizer outfit. But, yeah, but these, the biggest, uh, or the time that it was most prominent was during the Obama administration. Is um, when Obama, since he knew everything, he was a Harvard graduate, so therefore he was smarter than everybody else. And his fellow uh, Harvard grad friend, uh, the horrid Arne Duncan, they just knew everything about education, and they tried all this so-called innovation, and it was a fucking disaster. This is one of Obama's dubious legacies. It's the harm he did in public education, and the Broad Academy was central to that. And let me tell you, any superintendent that has, these days, that has the Broad Academy on his or her resume probably should be avoided like the plague. Because almost all of these people that did graduate from the Broad Academy, they've had problems. And I can name a bunch of names. And, and let's look at their alum, alumni. I don't know if they talk about it. Who some of the, They used to have a whole list of names. I guess they don't. Or they're too ashamed of it. It might be if I bothered to take a look. But years ago, there was a blog. And I'm going to link to it. I'll put a, some links in here to it that Broden and his wife, Edith, uh, they had two training. He and his wife funded two training programs primarily for individuals who wish to work in school district setting. The Broad Residency, a two-year program where participants are placed in full-time managerial positions in school districts, CMOs, and federal state departments of education. And the Broad Superintendents Academy is a training program held in six sessions over ten months, which participants may expect to be placed in an urban school district. And they've been a fucking disaster. A lot of them don't know what in the hell they're even doing. But this talks about all the, or covered a lot of the problems with the Broad Academy and the scandals that resulted from the Broad Academy. So you don't hear too much about the Broad Academy anymore because it was pretty much a failure. So, when I heard that Eli Brode had died today, I immediately thought, I didn't think of his um, contributions to the arts and, and the good things he did in L.A. I thought of the total disaster he was on public education in the United States.